320 km per hour. India's first bullet train is on the way between Mumbai and Ahmedabad. But what makes that kind of speed even possible? It's not just about faster trains. It's about building an entirely new kind of track, the high-speed rail viaduct. So what exactly is it? How does it work? And why is it so different from regular railway lines? Let's break it down. A regular train runs on ballast and tracks laid on the ground. But bullet trains run fast, really fast. At 300 plus km per hour, even the smallest bump, curve or crossing becomes dangerous. So high-speed trains run on precisely built, elevated viaducts long, uninterrupted concrete corridors supported by piers every 30 to 40 meters. Here's why bullet trains run above everything else. These race tracks are safer, no road crossings, straighter, fewer turns mean higher speeds, smoother, no disturbances from vehicles or people, stronger, built to carry heavy trains moving really fast. But how is a bullet train viaduct built? Step 1. Drill deep into the ground. Strong foundations are a must. Step 2. Build tall concrete columns. These are the legs that hold up the track, kind of like stilts. Step 3. Add a cap on top. This wide cap helps distribute the weight evenly. Step 4. Cast the track segments in a factory. Giant blocks of concrete are made of sight, each shaped perfectly. Step 5. Lift and place them using giant cranes. These pieces are like Lego blocks, joined together high above the ground. Step 6. Tighten steel cables inside each piece. This gives the structure the strength it needs to handle high-speed trains. Each block weighs as much as 70 to 100 cars and has to fit with the next one perfectly with barely a millimeter of error. These aren't your regular bridges. Bullet train viaducts need special design tricks. To stop vibrations from shaking the train, special rubber pads are placed under the tracks. To handle curves or wind, side walls are added to reduce drag. To stay rock solid during earthquakes, some columns are designed to flex slightly and stay stable. And to keep the ride smooth, even tiny bumps or bends are avoided. That's why everything is measured and aligned with super high precision. The Mumbai Ahmedabad corridor will have 460 kilometers of elevated track. 24 river bridges, over 100,000 precast segments. Each kilometer of viaduct uses roughly 1,800 tons of cement and 500 tons of steel. Once completed, the bullet train will reduce the Mumbai to Ahmedabad travel time from 9 hours by car and 6 hours by conventional rail to just 2 hours. This isn't just faster travel. It's the largest leap Indian rail engineering has taken in 100 years. Building for 320 km per hour is an engineering challenge few countries have mastered. And now, India joins that list. Bullet trains aren't just about speed, they are about precision, planning and scale. And the viaduct they ride on? That's the real engineering marvel.